Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Hello, Buhumi. Okay, let me share my screen. Okay, so welcome back to 6 p.m. lesson. So before I start, and today we're going through the last context clue. So before I start the lesson, can anyone share what have we've done three other context clues? And can anyone share with us uh, what we've done? What are the three context clues we've gone through? Anyone? Usually at the beginning, it's a bit quiet. Okay, I give the first one. The first one we did was um, definition. Okay, so that means in the uh, in the text, okay, the, the author will give an, uh, a definition, the meaning of the difficult words. What's the second one that we learned? Everyone still warming up? Explain what are the proof. Again, I cannot hear you. Say that again. Explain uh, what are the clues. Okay, very good. So I think you're trying to say explanation and illustration. Very good. Thank you, Buhumi. And one more. Where we learn the three things. The front, the middle, and the back part of a word. What do we call that? Prefix. Some more. Prefix. Yes, very good one. Uh, two more. Prefix, what's the, yes. word, the word in the center? Root. Root, very good, root word. And the one that, that we fix onto the back of a word? Suffix. Thank you, very good. So prefix, are uh, root word and suffix, okay? So the prefix and suffix, we can call them Fixes. Very good. So those are the three that we have learned. So today we're going to learn the last context clue. I know we shared five, okay, but I'm not going to go through the fifth one because it's not difficult to do that. Okay, so let's go through again. We have done the definition, meaning or restatement, okay, where the author restated the meaning of the difficult word. Okay, we've also done root word and affix, okay, where you look at the parts of the word and try and get the meaning of the difficult words. And last two weeks, we've learned example or illustration, okay, where the author used words to explain the meaning of the difficult words, okay, give some example. And today, we're going to learn synonyms and antonym, okay. So if you look here, she hums continuously, or all the time, and it annoys me, okay? Okay, so all the time is a synonym, okay? So usually synonym, they use one word, okay? Later, we'll show you more. So abhor versus adore, okay? They are antonym because they have opposite meaning. So today, we are going to learn this. Uh, we are not going to go through the fifth one, which is logic or helping words because they are generally quite... Uh, commonsensical, so you will be able to uh, be able to find out on your own. Okay, so uh, in the next two, next week, we're going to continue with antonym and synonym. And then the end of October, we are going to have a summary of all the context clues that you have learned. Okay, so let's go into lesson proper. Today, we are going to collapse everything. We're going to learn what are synonyms, what are antonyms? And we're going to use synonyms and antonyms as context clues. Okay, so synonyms and antonyms are easy to understand uh, once you get what they mean. Okay, so today we'll do more of the practice. Okay, so first, what are synonyms? Okay, synonyms is whereby the author use the word, okay, a, another word of a similar or nearly the same meaning as the difficult word in the sentence. Okay, and some of the signal words, that means it comes before the uh, synonym will be or, that is, in other words. So how do we uh, uh, try and understand synonyms and antonyms? So if you see S-Y-N, if you add a C at the back, S-Y-N-C, it's called sing. Sing means you are having a similar kind of um, 
meaning okay you're in line with one another sing so that's how you try and remember synonym synonym are words with similar meaning okay so let's take a look at this first example if teacher genie were to give you a sentence like this the baseball coach punished the team's duplicity after they admitted to using steroids to boost their betting averages okay there are many many difficult words here but i want to understand firstly duplicity because this is the most difficult of all okay if you say that oh i actually don't understand steroids i think some of you most of you will know what are steroids okay these are um, drugs to help you to boost okay your I think uh, some of your strengths, okay, your bodily, your biological uh, functioning. Okay, betting is because when you talk about baseball, betting is the, the action where they use to hit the, uh, the ball. Okay, so now we want to try and understand if you are asked to guess the meaning of duplicity. From this statement here, can anyone guess Try, try and throw out any answers. What do you think duplicity will mean? It looks difficult. It's meant to be difficult. But I want you to make a guess from this that statement here. What does duplicity mean? Difficult, right? Okay, let's see five seconds. If anyone can throw out anything. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so this is very difficult because this is an example that I want you to see why synonym is very helpful. Okay, now let's take a look at the next example. Okay. Yeah, example 1B. Look at the sentence here. Okay. Something is different. The baseball coach punished the team's duplicity or cheating after they admitted to using steroids to boost their betting averages. Now, same thing. I want you to guess the meaning of duplicity here. Bad behavior. Oh, very good try. Okay. Uh, what kind of behavior? Be more specific. Uh, lying. Okay, very good. I like lying behavior. Anyone wants to has any other guesses? Okay, never mind. So, Buhumi. You said lying behavior. Why do you use lying? Why do you think the meaning is lying behavior? What makes you guess this? Uh, because in the sentence, there, there is uh, some several cheating. Uh, okay. Of it, uh, cause punished behavior. Very good. Okay, so uh, Buhumi guessed duplicity from this punishment, so something negative, and there was this word cheating. Okay, they have done something to they, they have done something, and the author calls it cheating. And when you see duplicity or cheating, it roughly has the same meaning. So this is what I mean by synonym. In the previous uh, sentence, I took away the words or cheating. Then it's difficult to guess the meaning. But to make someone understand the text better, the author actually put or cheating, which is a synonym to help you understand better. Okay, so then now let's take a look at the actual meaning of Just now, there was a, yeah. Okay, lying behavior, right? Okay. So, then, let's take a look at the, oops, what am I doing? Uh? Yeah. Okay. So, 
let's take a look at the meaning, actual meaning of duplicity, okay? The actual meaning of duplicity is a dishonest talk or behavior. So very good, Buhumi. So with the synonym, you actually managed to guess that duplicity actually means a lying behavior, which is very correct, okay? Which is almost there. So with this, you're able to understand that they are not talk, saying the truth. Okay, they are not speaking or behaving in the truthful way. Okay, that's why lying behavior is not wrong. It's actually quite close to the meaning. Okay, so if you put lying behavior here back into the word duplicity, it will read this, the baseball coach punished the team's lying behavior, okay, or cheating after they admitted to using steroids to boost their betting averages okay so you see how the synonym cheating and there is a signal word here or to actually tell you explain the meaning of duplicity and it helps you to guess the meaning more closely okay so that's very good so we're going to go into the next example let me just erase this okay so Let's try the next example. Okay, here. The food was bland. In fact, everyone did not enjoy it. Let's try and guess the meaning of bland. Don't, if you already know what bland means, uh, try not to use it. We look at it in context. That means in this set, st statement itself, can you guess the meaning? Does anyone want to try? Today, I think we've got some new students that I've not seen before. I hope you're able to catch up, okay? Anyway, today we're talking about synonyms and endonyms. It's a new uh, topic. Okay, again, everyone is so quiet. Okay, let's, okay, let's see. Somebody says soft. Okay, good try, okay? Soft, uh, Kanishka said soft. Okay, let's put it here. Soft. Anyone has any other uh, answers, responses? That's a good try. Let's see because uh, again, you realize that there is uh, no helping word here. There was no any other context clue that you can use. That's why you can only try and guess the meaning. Okay, so let's take a look at example 2B. The food was bland. In fact, everyone called it tasteless, not delicious. Okay, and Jana says uh, the meaning of uh, bland could be not delicious. Okay, good try. I like that. Okay, let me put in that extra next answer. Okay, not delicious. Very good try. Okay. I don't know if you got it through your own um, prior knowledge, okay, or you guess it from the, the facts here, okay, because people didn't enjoy, so it most likely is not delicious. But other than that, there is a more specific meaning. So let's take a look at this sentence now. Let's guess the meaning of blend. I suppose it's easier to guess now what's the meaning of blend. Uh, anyone yes spoiled. again again ben uh, food, uh sorry food getting spoiled oh food getting spoiled okay good try let me give me a moment let me get the annotate two out okay so there's a uh, food that is spoiled okay anyone has any other guesses So everyone agrees that the food that is spoiled? Untasty. Untasty, okay. Untasty, okay. That's a good try, Van. Oh, so earlier someone was, uh, that was not bad. Okay, food that is spoiled or untasty. Now, who can tell me where is the synonym that to blend in this sentence here? 
this the uh, another word in the text that has a similar meaning. Uninteresting, Izumi say uninteresting. Okay, good try. Okay, so firstly, we must be able to identify which is the uh, synonym here. Okay, so if I were to tell you, this is the synonym. Tasteless is the synonym of bland. Okay, so now if you ask me, then teacher Jeannie, which of this answer is the closest? Okay, let's take a look at the definition from the dictionary of bland, not having a strong taste. Okay, so some of you, uh, you said that food that is spoiled is off. Okay, it may not be totally accurate. And tasty is almost there. Uh, that means it's not tasty. Okay, I think if you get the, how the meaning, it should be okay. Uninteresting, maybe it's not there. It's bland actually means that it's not having a strong taste. Okay, so if I put this back, okay, if I put untasty, the food was untasty of the food was not tasty. In fact, everyone called it tasteless. It's almost there, okay? But uninteresting, uh, food that is spoiled, mm, it's not there yet, okay? Food that is spoiled is not uh, accurate because maybe in the first sentence, you will get it, uh, you, you put food that is spoiled, maybe you can make a guess, but okay, with this synonym here, tasteless, you should give you a better guess. So if we were to look earlier, some of you guessed soft and not delicious. Not delicious was almost there, okay? But it has to do with the taste. So here, very important, again, teacher Jeannie always say, when we look at context clue, don't use your own prior knowledge because there are words in the text itself that will help you with the meaning uh, of the text. So here is a synonym, which is a word that has a similar meaning to the uh, difficult word, okay, to help you understand the meaning of the difficult words. Okay, so very good try. Let me erase everything and then we are going to go into the next. Okay, so now that you understand synonym, which are words of a similar meaning, we are going to go into antonyms. So antonyms, you know, is another word that has an opposite meaning of the difficult word. Okay, and some of the signal words will be this. However, although, unlike, instead of, unless, on the contrary, there are many more. Okay, so all these signal words has a change of direction. And when there is a change of direction, you will know that the author is trying to use an opposite meaning. Okay, and if they use one word, one word, okay, to represent, that's called an antonym, which means a word of an opposite meaning. Okay, so again, we're going to look at the example. And this example doesn't have an antonym. We have to try our best to guess the meaning. It was your duplicity that caused me to break up with you. So earlier, we actually talked about duplicity, which was means uh, dishonest behavior or um, I think, okay, behavior or speech, something like this, okay? So here, uh, again, if you look at this sentence, I wouldn't know what duplicity means, okay? I have to try very hard to guess. I only know that this person wants to break up with me. But what exactly does duplicity mean? The meaning could be very, very wide if you were to put in, okay? So 1A, we don't have to go into it because if we took, take a look at 1B, now let's identify the antonym here. It was your duplicity that caused me to break up with you. Had you been honest, I wouldn't have felt the need. Okay, firstly, let's identify the antonym. Where is the antonym here? That means a word of a different meaning to the difficult word. Honest. Very good, thank you. Yes, honest is the 
uh, antonym to duplicity. Okay, so then I, I guess we don't have to guess the meaning because just now you already knew the definition. So the definition of uh, duplicity is dishonest talk or behavior. So if you see the definition, you realize that it's really exactly the opposite okay, of dishonest. So that's how we use antonym here. Okay, so there are, uh, there are words that tells you the opposite meaning and you guess the meaning of the difficult word. Okay, so let's take a look at the next example, which uh, let's see if you can try. Now, this statement here, be careful driving when the road is wet and hazardous. Does anyone want to guess the meaning of hazardous here? Slippery. Slippery, okay, good try, Buhumi. Anyone wants to try? Dangerous. One? Dangerous, thank you, very good. Dangerous. What else? Does anyone else have any more answer? Okay, if not, now let's take a look at question 2B where there is an antonym. Be careful when driving when the road is wet and hazardous. It is only safe when it is dry. So who can identify the antonym to the word hazardous? Safe. 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 Wow, all of you are very fast. Yes, safe is the opposite of hazardous okay don't tell me dry eh? because you realize that the dry is the antonym for wet so now the author is very clear they he used two words to describe the road condition and he gave you two antonyms so if you said that safe is the antonym for hazardous so let's guess the meaning what's the meaning of hazardous then What's a, a suitable word that we can replace hazardous with? Dangerous. Very good. Okay, so Buhumi, just now you said slippery because you, you guessed it from your own context, okay? Your own knowledge that maybe if it's wet, it's, the, uh, it's slippery, okay? Very good. Now you Risky. guess again. Risky. Risky. Okay, good try. That was, uh, I think, is was it Izumi? Okay, risky. Very good. So if you realize now our answers are not that broad, you, you actually zoom in a little bit more. Let's take a look at the meaning of hazardous. Very good. You got it. Risky, dangerous. This is from the dictionary. Okay. So just now, Chamika was very good. Okay, he guessed dangerous. I hope it was Chamika. I didn't see the name. Huh? Okay, uh, hazardous, you guess it as dangerous. But now more of you are able to guess the meaning of uh, hazardous, which is risky or dangerous. How does it help you? Because of this antonym, safe. Okay, you can also put unsafe because the antonym for safe can also be unsafe, but if you want to uh, explain it in a more specific um, way, yes, you use the word dangerous or risky. Wow, very good. I think I don't have to teach the lesson anymore. Okay, all of you are so good. Okay, but let's see if teacher Jeannie has more challenging questions for you. Okay, so now we are going to practice our antonyms and synonyms as context clues okay so what are we going to do we are going to identify the two words okay either are they a pair of synonyms or antonyms and then what was the clue that decide to help you uh, to that helps you to know that they are either are they synonyms or antonyms so that means i'm saying that what are the signal words? 
that tell you that these pair of words are synonyms or antonyms. Okay, does anyone want to read question? Okay, let's let me read question one first. Okay, the job of stuffing envelopes is a very tedious task. Okay, so if I were to ask you, okay, let me give the example first. If I were to ask you, okay, look at this sentence number one. Identify two words, a pair of words that are either antonyms or synonyms. So teacher Jeannie will identify, okay, I saw two words and they are synonyms. That means they have the same meaning. And the two words are job and task. Okay, so that's why I say sometimes when we read more, you will realize that it helps to build your uh, command of English. A lot of us may use the word job. But you realize that sometimes if we want, we can change the word job into task. Okay, this helps our uh, writing. Okay, so and which is the clue that helps me know that job and task are synonyms and not antonyms? Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. Similar. Similar what? Similarities and difference. Ah, yes. So this one is a similarity, right? Okay, but here in this, uh, this uh, sentence here, there is no signal word. Okay, there is no signal word. So some of you may be looking at the uh, adjective. Okay, is it stuffing? Is it tedious? Uh, that, that are the synonyms, but no. Okay, if uh, this is a trick question, so the task and the job, which is the noun, are the synonyms. Okay, but there are no signal words here, but there is no word that tells you that there is a change of direction. The sentence itself tells you that it has the same meaning throughout. That's why I guess it as a synonym. Oh, okay, someone, the, the person who responded just now, yes, question two. Okay, let me read for all of you first, okay? Twins share many similarities, but there are always some differences between them yes the answer is they are antonyms okay first we want to guess the ant uh are they synonyms or antonyms and somebody just guessed it the antonyms the pair of antonyms are similarities and differences but which clue okay what clue helps you to guess that these are the two words and they are antonyms what's the signal word Anyone? Twins. Uh, twins. Uh, twins is not a signal word. Okay, it just uh, twins is part of the sentence. Okay, I'll help you here. Remember, just now I shared the slides. There are signal words, but it's a signal word. It tells you a change of direction. Okay, if let's read it again. Twins share many similarities. Okay, the dam here refers to twins. So here we know that they're still talking about the twins, but, but, when we have the word but, it tells me that there's going to be a change of direction. Okay? Other than the similarities, there are some differences. Okay? You see, so I know that similarities are different and differences are the opposite meaning. Okay? So you must be able to identify signal words such as but. Okay, question three, who wants to read this for me? And if, after you read, you can probably give me the answer. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Uh, he cut his finger while he carved the turkey. Very good. So Buhumi, will you be able to give me, is it antonyms or synonyms here? Uh, synonyms. Very good, synonyms. Which two words? Cut and carved. Very good. Cut and cuff, they have a similar meaning. And uh, is there any clues that help you? While. While, okay. Somebody said while. Let me see my answer. Uh, okay. In this sentence, while can be a signal word, but I didn't identify any because uh, sometimes while can also be used as a change of direction. Okay, uh, or, or it may not directly be a signal word, okay, depending on the context. But if you realize before and after the while, 
they're actually talking about the same thing, okay? It's a similar thing. He cut while he carved, okay? So they're actually synonym, cutting, and carve is to make something out, okay? Take something out of the turkey. So in this sentence, there are no clues, but you know that it generally flows in the same direction, okay? So that's why sometimes antonym, synonym can be a little bit tricky, especially for synonym, because the, the, the text may just flow. There is no change of direction. So the moment there are no change of direction, you know they are synonyms. Okay, I can hear more voices. Who wants to read question four for me? She wore casual attire to the party when it got supposed to be a formal affair. Thank you, Ben. Uh, the, so uh, is it? Uh, uh, synonym, synonyms. Synonyms. Uh, casual, casual and... Uh, former antonyms. Ah, very good. Okay, yeah. it's antonyms, yeah. casual, casual, and former. And form. Very good. So, is there any clues that help you to say that, uh, to understand that they are antonyms and not synonyms? When? Very good. Okay, not just when. Uh, let me see. Actually, it's when suppose. it was yeah. supposed. Okay. Oh. Yes, suppose. So actually, suppose has the meaning that it was it was meant to be that way. However, it turned out this way. So the change of direction is in the word suppose. Okay. So here, then some of you may may not understand uh, what's formal. What does formal mean? What does casual mean? Okay, but you know that they are the opposite meaning. And then you make a guess there. Okay, she wear a casual, she wore casual attire. Attire is a clothing to a party when it was supposed to be a formal. I think some of you, if you learn your prefix suffix, okay, you will probably know what's the meaning of formal. Okay, something that is more serious. Okay, so then you will know what, a ca what is the meaning of casual. Okay, very good. You realize here, teacher Jeannie didn't ask you the meanings yet, okay? Later, we may try and do meanings, okay? The definition. So let's get our antonyms and synonyms correct first. Question five, who wants to read for me? If that boy is so innocent, why does he look so guilty? Okay, if that boy is so innocent, why does he look so guilty? So Izumi, do you want to make a guess? Is it a pair of synonyms or antonyms? Antonyms. Antonyms, okay, good try. Which are the pair? Which is the pair? Innocent and guilty. Very good, okay, innocent and guilty. Now the question is, what clue helps you to guess? Come on. Again? If. if. What else? Why. Why. What else? Comma. Uh, comma. Okay, the comma. Okay, very good try. I like that you're all talking and responding. The, the signal word is actually uh, if. if. Okay, if. Yes, thank you. So, if. If this is so. And of course, I think why is part of it because if and why, yeah, it should be if and why, two together. If it is so, why tells you that if and why they put together, there is a change of direction. You're asking, if I am so happy, why do I feel, uh, why, why is everything not in my way? not in the way I want it. You see, when if and why are placed together, there is a change of direction. And that's why we, we, we see a pair of antonyms. So here, if you know the meaning of innocent, you'll be able to guess the meaning of guilty. If you know what guilty means, you'll be able to understand what is innocent, knowing that they are a pair of antonyms. Okay, very good. So I like that participation. Everybody is talking more, okay? It seems like antonyms and synonyms are much easier for you to understand than the other context clues. Okay, question six. Who wants to read for me? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, please. Um, I desire to go to the beach and wish to wish to swim in the ocean. Okay, so Buhumi, antonyms or synonym? Synonyms? Synonyms, doesn't seem very, very sure. Okay, yes, the synonyms. Which is the pair of synonyms? Desire and wish. Very good, desire and wish. And what is the clue that helps you to decide that they are synonyms? Mm. And very good. Okay, whenever we see and you know that it's in the same direction. Okay, I like ice cream and something else. I like ice cream and chocolate. Okay, they are two two things put together. They have the same meaning. Okay, so that's why desire and wish again we're building a bit of your uh vocabulary. A lot of times we use the word wish. Okay, but we can also use desire because it has a similar meaning. I desire to swim in the ocean rather than all the time we use the word wish. Yes, Ben Dama, you want to go next? Yeah. Okay. Are you only I, heard? I, uh, okay. okay, and Jana, we will go next, okay? We let Ben Dama go first. Uh, I only heard part of the message from my mother, but I need to hear the whole message. Okay. Is the antonyms. Very good. And part and whole. Yes, part and whole. And what's the clue? Uh, but. Well done. Okay. This is very straightforward. Part and whole in mathematics, people, uh, your teachers will always teach you part. Okay. When you have part and part, add, you add part and part together, you get a whole. Okay. If you have a whole minus away part, you get another part. Okay. This is uh, what I hear from my teachers. Okay. That's how we teach. So part is uh, not the whole thing. Okay. It's only a portion of the whole thing and a whole, you know, but it is the main, uh, everything inside there. Very good. Okay, now let's see question eight. And Jana, do you want to go? No, ma'am. Oh, okay, so who was the one who was reading just now? Okay, anyone? Just unmute and read question eight for me. The snow is thawing and the ice is melting on this unusual warm winter day. Thank you. Okay, who was that reading again? Dulani. Dulani. Okay, so Dulani, can you give me the answers? Um, synonym. Synonym, yes. Um, towing and melting. Very good. Towing and melting. And what's the clue? Squeeze and. Uh, again, what was the word before and? Uh, the clue is and okay yes very good and tells you that the before the words uh before and and after and has the same meaning okay there is no change of direction very good okay so towing and melting at first teacher genie was looking at this question i was like towing and melting doesn't have a very uh uh similar so we don't say ice is towing uh, sometimes, uh, but yeah, okay, snow is towing, ice is melting, but you can use them interchangeably for some situations, okay? But they have the same meaning. Okay, very good. Question nine. Can anyone read this? Her mother allowed her to go on the trip and let her ride the bus with her friends. Very good. Okay, Buhumi, answer. Uh, synonym. Synonym, yes. Uh, allow and let. Yes, okay. So again, these are very, very easy words, okay? But... Uh, 
uh, when I was doing this lesson, I realized that actually, yeah, sometimes the synonyms are just as simple as the verbs that they use. Actually, it tells you the meaning. Some people may know the meaning of let's, but for young readers, they may not know the meaning of allowed. Okay, so again, we learn uh, vocabulary here. Okay, a mother allow her to go on a trip and let her ride the bus with her friends. Okay, and uh, okay, I'll help Buhumi since she muted already. Okay, the signal word is very clear, is N. Okay, so now after so many examples, we know that whenever N appears, it has to be an, uh, synonyms. Okay, question 10. What's to read for me? Okay, if not, teacher Jeannie will read and then you give me the answer. Question 10. After having concealed the painting for a long time, it was finally exhibited. Ah, such a difficult uh, question. Now, let's make a guess. Okay, if you don't know whether they're synonyms or antonyms, look for the signal word first. I mean, not the, yeah, the clues or the signal words. Who wants to try and answer this? Is it a pair of antonyms or synonyms? Antonyms. Antonyms, very good. Chamika, which are the two words? Conceal and exhibited. Okay, sorry, and Jana. Yes, very good. Conceal and exhibited. And now, which is which are the clues? This is a bit tricky here. Can anyone uh, make a guess which are the clues here? Finally. Finally, okay, good try. It's after and finally. So this pair of uh, uh, clues is actually helping you. Okay, because when sometimes we just see after, the sentence may just flow without any antonym, okay? But if you have after and finally, uh, after I worked so hard, I finally got the result. Also, can I can't say that, okay? But if you put it this, you look at after and finally, you will realize that uh, it may most likely tell you a change of direction, okay? But it's not just after itself or finally on its own, okay? It has to come together, okay? Phew! Well, wow, that was the easy part, okay? Now, it's the more difficult part. It's been so long since we had uh, passages, okay? So we are going to just read two paragraphs of text and we're going to read and identify six pairs of antonyms and synonyms. Let's see if we are sharp enough to identify them, okay? It can be very, very simple words. And uh, it may not be in the same sentence, but they have the same meaning or different meaning or totally opposite meaning. Okay, anyone wants to read this for me? Reading time. We haven't read sentence, uh, passages for so long. May I? Okay. Uh, okay, let's get Duna, Dulani to read first and Jana can read the next passage for me if you want, okay? Yes, Dulani? Mm. Larry and Philip went to collect some items in the woods for their science project. Their plan was to go for one hour and get as much as they could. As they began, they are, began their scheme was working because... They were gathering many items, including moss, wildflowers, tree bark, ferns, and grass. They had an enormous pile of stuff, and it was beginning to be too much to carry. Because they had such a collection, they had to slow their place of collecting items. Their pile was getting huge, so they had a fight over what items to keep. 
in their dispute dispute larry thought they should keep the wild flowers but philip did not they finally agreed about what to keep and finished their searching thank you dulani okay so dulani read really well okay but some of the words you need to be a bit careful because you read a uh, pace as place okay so you must look carefully enormous okay so now it's a test of our hearing our eyesight and our understanding who can identify uh, a pair of antonym or synonym in the text here Okay, I'll give you the first one, okay? I'll give you the first one. The first one is this plan and scheme. They are synonyms, okay? The one in green are synonyms. They have the same meaning, okay? If you doubt me, let's think, let's take a look. Their plan was to go and do this one hour, get as much as they could. As they began, their scheme was working. What was working? which is their plan, okay? So plan and scheme, they're synonym because they have the same meaning. Not same, but similar meaning. So you can change them, uh, in the, you can change them uh, to, to write the, the so-called the text itself, okay? Okay, so anyone, any brave souls want to try? What would be the next pair of antonym or synonym that you have seen? I found a Collect. Okay. Collect and, and, and gathering. Let's get Anjana go first. Items and stuff. Items and stuff. Okay. Where is stuff? Okay. Uh, okay. Good try. Uh, because I don't know what my answers are. Let's throw in the answers. Okay. Okay. Items and stuff. What else? Uh, items and stuff, I suppose they are synonyms or antonyms? Synonyms. Synonyms, okay. Okay, next person. Synonyms. Gathering and collecting. Synonyms. Okay, I see, I hear the same answer. Collect and gathering. Collecting and gathering. Although there is no collecting here, but gather, collect, collecting, gathering, okay. Is collect and gathering synonym or antonym? Synonym. Synonym. Very good. Very good. One more pair. Let's try. Collecting is here. Okay. Collecting, gathering. One more pair. It's getting really difficult. Including. In, did you say including? Yeah. Okay, including and which word? Which other word? Enormous and huge. Okay, yes, okay. Uh, who was that uh, who said, okay, Dulani, enormous and huge. Good try. Okay, uh, then Dharma, including is not part of the Anthony synonym okay because there is no the other pair of the word okay but good try i like that okay yes dulani enormous and huge well done so we have four pairs okay let's see the answers okay i hope uh, nothing else that you have not given me Okay, very good. Enormous and huge. Okay, Dulani said that and they are a pair of synonym. Okay, because they're in green. So you see how the writers actually use these words interchangeably to actually help us to understand the text. Okay, and you realize that they may not be in the same sentence. Okay, because sometimes when we write, we may just keep on using the word huge. They had a huge power of stuff. And then here, their power was getting more huge. Okay, but you don't have to use huge all the time. Okay, oops, uh, this one didn't came, come out, okay? Fight and dispute is another pair of um, synonym. It has the meaning of disagreement. Okay, so you see how we can use fight or dispute to write our text. Okay. 
Yes, some Miguel, of you say. Uh, yes, Miguel and finish. finish. Miguel, Miguel and finish. And finish. finish. Well done. Okay, let's see if that was uh, the last answer. Okay, so it's actually collecting, gathering. Okay, collecting, gathering. These are synonyms again. Okay, and the last one. Yes, Kanishka said finished and began. Wow, that was so far apart. And these are antonyms. Okay, very good. So all of you are very, very sharp, although you took quite a long time. But this is a, a very good example to tell us that actually within a text, okay, so when teacher Jeannie prepared this lesson, I also didn't expect that the writers use all these antonyms and synonyms throughout the text but you realize that they don't use the same words over and over again because they want to have more variety in the text. That's why they use some of these different words with a similar meaning. Okay, and yes, antonyms is easy to find out, okay, if you, if you are very sharp about that. Okay, the second paragraph. Uh, and Jana, would you want to read for me? Yes. Okay. As they went to go home, they noticed the rocks that they used to guide them into the forest were gone. They had nothing to lead them back. They were lost. Larry was very afraid, but Philip was determined to discover their way back home. In the end, Larry and Philip got A plus on their science project, which was well worth their adventure. Thank you, Anjana. Okay, so this word here is determine. Okay, I like that you read it as mine, determine, because it tells me that you actually know your, your, your words very well. But unfortunately, this I-N-E is not I-N, but it's in. Okay, it's read as determine. Okay, very good reading. So now there are two pairs of uh, antonyms and synonyms here. Anyone can make a guess. Guide and lead. Very good. Guide and lead, is that synonym or antonym? Synonym. Synonyms, okay, very good. They have the same meaning. And one more pair. Gone and lost. Gone and lost, okay. Uh... Okay, uh, almost there, but uh, not so right. Okay, so the, the word gone here has a different meaning to lost. Okay, this gone here is like missing. Okay, okay, that's why I know I get where you're going. But that's not the pair that we have identified. Okay, but gone and lost is a good try. It probably can be used as a synonym. Okay, let's try one more pair. It's not an easy pair. Went back. Went back and, oh, went and back. Okay, uh, no, okay, <laughs> not these two. Yeah, they actually went and back has different meanings. Okay, they don't have a, it's, it's not opposite to. Anyone can guess it. If not, I will, let me, uh, I can't remember. I don't think it was gone and lost. Okay, let me review the answer. Yes, the first pair was correct, guide and lead. Okay, and the second pair, okay, and guide and lead, they are synonym. So you can use these two words in your writing. Okay, to show, to show the similar meaning. Okay, the second pair is lost and discovered. Okay, this is not easy because uh, I think as we've gone and lost, lost and discovered, uh, okay, if we use gone and lost, they are synonyms. 
lost and discovered, they are synonym because you lost something, but you found discovered has the meaning of finding something. Okay, and if you look, read the sentence, they had nothing to lead them back, they were lost. Okay, however, after that, Philip was determined and he found his way back. So lost and found. So discovered is the other meaning of found, okay? But the, the author here didn't use found, they used discovered. Okay, so I hope this helped you. It's a bit tricky here. Uh, yes, you can actually use gone, but it's really not directly similar yet, okay? Yeah, because if I were to put in the forest were lost, okay? Uh, they used to guide them into the forest were lost. That's why I don't, okay. So if I were to put lost here to replace gone, if we're thinking that they are synonym, I will read this text. They notice the rocks that they discovered to use to guide them into the forest were lost. Okay, so you realize that when I put lost to replace gone, it is not the right word to use. Okay, but missing, gone and missing may be synonym. Okay, so here we have it. Okay, so we are done with the lesson for today, learning about synonyms and antonyms. Any questions? Okay, but I like everyone's participation today and Ren Dharma, you're talking so much more and, and responding so much more. That's a very good encouragement, okay? okay. Very Thank good. You. Yes, and everyone else, it was really nice to, to hear that you're so participative. Okay, so I can I can understand that this lesson seems to be much easier than the previous lessons, but good, I, I like that you're learning more. Okay, if not, that's all for today. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you next week and we'll continue with antonyms and synonyms. Goodbye. Have a good night. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. And have a nice day. Yes, Ch Chamika. Next week's lesson will be much more difficult, okay? Since all of you can do so well. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Okay. Bye.